YouTube. Today I'm just going to give you a few examples of Doctor Who forums. My main reason is because probably the most popular one on the internet, the Doctor Who forum, is closing, as you can see right here, on July 31st. Um, I myself have been frequenting this forum for several years. Uh, just to hear an example of one of my posts. This was me, C.A. Bowles, London, Ontario. I joined December 9, 2005. Posts here, 24, that's the current phone. Posts in the Outpost Gallifrey Forum, 112. Here is the archive of the original archive, or the original forum that was originally the Doctor Who Forum at Outpost Gallifrey. This one closed back in, it was late in November. 2007. Well, at least for Doctor Who fans for years, this has probably been the most popular place to come and chat about uh, whatever Doctor Who stuff they want to talk about. So you're here for an independent forum. Quite an impressive members list. But alas, after all these years, and this has really been around since 2001, it was originally an easy board forum, uh, then uh, on the Outpost Gallifrey site was the forum there, then became the Doctor Who forum in uh, November 2007, as I said. And now it is going into, I guess, the internet history books. Um, after the 31st of July, this will disappear. But there is a new option in case anyone is not yet aware of it, although I'm sure you are considering how many people have been joining this Gallifrey base. <clears throat> which is essentially the successor to the Doctor Who forum. In fact, it inclu it's, includes most of the moderators um, and I guess most of the head people, if you want to call them that, who were behind the most recent incarnation of the Doctor Who forum. So anyways, here it is. It's been open to the public for two days for subscriptions. So that's what they've gotten since around, I think it was Saturday afternoon. Saturday, yeah, it was Saturday afternoon that they opened up. Uh, so this is now 10.15 Eastern Standard on a, the following Sunday. So I'd say it's pretty clear that uh, this is definitely the successor. In fact, some of the sections, you example right here, Enlightenment, where they talk about past episodes even says right here this is moved to the Gallifrey base forum and even Sean Lyon who owned this forum has stated that this is the successor, successor to the forum so I would encourage anyone who's into Doctor Who stuff to come in and register um, at the moment um, you can register with any email address um, I was able to get in with my hotmail, though I don't think that's going to last long because it didn't last very long on Outpost Gallifrey because of people setting up false accounts and stuff like that. But for right now, you can still sign up using free email accounts. And I just wanted to give a few examples of uh, some other forums you might want to look at. This also um, popped up in the past few weeks, Outpost Doctor Who. Very similar to Outpost Gallifrey. was also another website. Uh, gunning to be the successor of Outpost Gallifrey. It actually hasn't done too bad, um, considering it wasn't, as far as I know, I don't think it's connected to uh, uh, the OG forum. You also might want to check this one out, Doctor Who Online. I've been a member of this forum since 2006, and membership here has, seems to have increased uh, quite a bit since uh, OG announced that it was closing the forum. And, then of course, there's always E. Levine's Doctor Who Forum, which is apparently now called Planet Kimball. Um, so, another one worth checking out. But anyways, that's all I had for now. Just um, figured if anyone who wanted to check out, or I know a lot of people that are into Doctor Who have been checking out my page, so I figured if you didn't know about these places, um, here you go. So, yeah, and everyone else, thank you for watching. And yeah, I know I've been kind of lazy with my DVD and Blu-ray videos, but trust me, they are coming. Alright, thank you. Goodbye.